Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys checking in, seeing what we're up to today. If you've been following along, i um, in the process of uh, doing some videos about a camper that we purchased recently, a truck camper. We actually took it out camping for the first time last week. Everything stayed nice and dry, so we're pretty happy about that. Kind of messy inside here, but I'll take you inside before I show you what I'm doing today. All right, so uh, he steps on here, so it's a bit of a climb for me to get in here, but... Okay, well, um, as I said, we, we finished camping, but I've already started uh, pulling some stuff out to get working on it. Today, what I'm going to be working on, actually, is I've pulled the cushions off. This is something I didn't get a chance to do before we left. I was so busy working on the, on the bunk that I didn't really have a chance to check anything else out. So basically, um, as I was just showing on the inside, I, the parts I didn't get really get to investigate too much are this part here of the camper. Um, I wasn't too concerned. I didn't see a lot of evidence of anything seriously going wrong. Obviously, it's a, a point where, uh, you know, you have these supports here. This is where your jack stand mounts. And, you know, it, I could tell when I had all the weight on the jack stands, it was, it was crushing a little bit here. So I was a little concerned to see what I was going to find in here. Um, so as I was showing you on the inside, it, that, that underneath part um, I was just pointing to, this is the other side here. And this one was, was of concern, um, especially I, this is the one that seemed to have the most play in it. I can't even move it, you know. I had concerns about this corner. Um, this one here seemed to be almost the best one right here. This, this, uh, let me get this out of the way here. That's the other jack stand. So there's two jack stands on this side. They put one in the front over here and then one in the back. Concern was that, you know, these, these here were just, uh, where they mounted on on the inside were just rotted right out. Well, so there's one jack stand right there. Um, and then this side over here, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you in here, but basically this is the, the left front. All right, so now with my flashlight, I pulled this panel out right here. There's just a little cover that went on here and I hadn't pulled it before. So now I see uh, what I'm looking at basically, and it, I, it's hard to tell from this video here. I'm gonna get this all cleaned up so we can get a better look at it. To get this bracket out, I've got to remove this box. This is the box where the propane tank sits. Here are the bolts for the tie down, uh, not tie down, but the uh, jack stand. So that's good. I got access to the bolts and actually that didn't look too bad. Um, but now that I have access to them, that means I can remove all three jack stands. So good deal. Got that out. I'm going to work on getting this cubby cleaned out right over here. We'll get this area cleaned out inside. And uh, I know I can remove these tie downs, remove these jack stands. And I can get my support piece of wood put up under here. Well, kind of disappointing. After a little more poking and prodding, I realized that the reason this screw right here wouldn't come out is because this was completely rotted out. You can see some of the scraps on the ground here, and this corner is pretty much completely gone. Um, obviously, it's been, I'm guessing, leaking all the way from the roof here. And over time, this is obviously just can't leave that like that. I'm gonna have to come up with a plan for fixing this. This back wall seems to be okay for some reason. Um, back here, uh, inside doesn't seem to be as rotted or soft, it's wet but not gone. So it's apparently this one piece they put that runs from here all the way up that um, has been collecting the water. So now my question is, do I go ahead and peel this back? It might be the only way I can get um, this corner fixed is to take this, this rail piece off. I may have to remove the lights and the electrical just to get it back far enough, but I don't really see any other way to fix this, unfortunately. I mean, I could try and put a piece in here, but there's so many screws and nails and whatnot. I'm not sure how effective that would be. Um, I'm gonna have to think about this for a minute, so uh, I'll let you know what I decide here when I uh, have a little more time to look at it. 
All right, so I ended up taking off the corner trim right here. I didn't ruin taking it off, so I don't need to replace it. But I decided to take it off because it was going to be the easiest way to deal with the screws that were in here. I'm not sure what. I haven't looked at this real close here to see how far up it goes. Yeah, it's pretty soft all the way up. That corner's been leaking for some time. And that's pretty sad. Yeah, wow. But what's interesting is it's really just that one corner piece. It's not, it didn't get to the inside from the looks of it. All right, I got that corner all cleaned out. I, got, I think I got all the screws and staples, everything cleared out. But all in all, it's really not bad. It's just one piece of wood. And I definitely have something to work with here to make sure I can get it in there. Uh, I'll have to come up with something here, but it's nothing major. Um, I'm pretty confident, especially after rebuilding the nose. This is going to be a pretty easy fix. And once I get this corner fixed and sealed back up, I think we're going to be good. All right. I'm picking up the next morning where I left off yesterday. I was fixing this corner right here. Um, before I go and put the trim mold back on here, I think I'm going to do the base down here first and then I'll be able to put my box back in once I have my hardware back in here to hold this base that I'm going to be putting up. Um, and I will do the trim at the same time. That way when I'm doing my caulking, I can get it all done at once instead of twice. But uh, for now, I'm going to see if I can use these uh, load binders for my pickup truck right here. Uh, I'm going to try and use these to hold this wood up in place. So that's my goal right now. If I can get these uh, two pieces of wood that I cut out and painted yesterday up, get the uh, box put back in, get the trim put on. All right, after uh, many dry fitments, I finally got it where I want it. I had to make a couple more trims on the edge here. The wall's not perfectly straight on the camper, but it came out good. Looks good. Everything's fine. Um, I got my holes drilled for up front. That actually came out better than I, it was easier than I thought it would be. I actually was able to reach into the cubby and pencil out a little scribe mark at least to get those holes lined up, and I put it up and dry and it's everything lines up nicely i haven't done the back holes yet over here where it's where it's going to be underneath the uh, lp tank i'm gonna i think what i'm going to do now my plan was always to uh put some liquid nail on this kind of try and seal it up at least around the edges make sure nothing gets into this area here as much as possible but also to kind of hold it up because i'm putting plywood up against the metal which is then going to be sandwiched in between another piece of half inch plywood. So I figure if I glue this with liquid nail and also screw it, there's going to be less chance of any movement and or uh, water or seepage or anything getting in here. And hopefully, I don't know, that's my thinking anyway. Hopefully that'll, uh, it'll last a long, a long time that way. I, won't, I painted it as you can see, so... It's uh, protected somewhat, and uh, you know, really not looking to get a lifetime out of this. Just uh, you know, a few good years of camping would be fine, and I think this is going to help a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and apply my liquid nail.
Hey, good morning. Well, uh, yesterday I was working on these down here, uh, putting in extra wood right here. And I did quite a bit yesterday. Didn't get as far as I wanted, but I did make good progress. Let me show you a little bit what I got done. So I was hoping to get uh, this all buttoned up yesterday, but I ran out of hardware because I got the wrong length. That third try is uh, the charm, apparently, because initially I had got one inch, uh, what, which was originally in there, but then I realized, obviously, it wasn't going to make it because of the addition. Then I ended up adding another piece of quarter inch on the inside. So that's really, um, now this wood in here, the, the quarter inch plywood that was originally this stuff right here, is now sandwiched between two quarter inch pieces. So this bracket's really solid. Uh, same with this tie down right here. That ain't going anywhere. Um, so as I said, I had to get some longer bolts. So I got those, did the same thing on the front. I got that corner put back together just in time. It just started to rain. I just put the plastic over it. The caulking is uh, made to go on wet or dry, but obviously just trying to keep it a little dry. Um, it's still a little tacky, so I'm just giving a little rain protection. But all in all, I'm pretty happy. Um, not too bad. Nice and sealed up. I know that for sure, so that's the key. Other than that, this corner is done. I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. Nice and sturdy. It was well worth taking everything apart. I got to fix the corner. Got to reinforce all of this jack uh, bracket here and the tie down. So everything's nice and solid. Um, still going to run some caulk in these seams here. Not that it really needs it, but we'll, you know, anything we can do to seal up the water and keep it out, um, that's what we're going to do. So I do have this one bracket over here. I haven't finished bolting up. I still got a few bolts to put in here, um, but. I'll take care of that. It's just drizzling now. So 